Hello YouTubers, I don't know if you can hear me well, this is Y2K <coughs> coming back with um, uh, Motorola MR250R um, supplementary review of the radio's range. Many of you have requested that uh, I review the range in terms of the Motorola MR250. Now, as we once did the last video, its range was 56 kilometers. Now, the issue with the range is what we are going to discuss today. And um, so, uh, I calculated and did a test recently with a friend of mine, which we both going to go to university together. And from my house to the university, it's 2.8 kilometers. So the range was okay when we when I was at university. My friend was at my house. We tested it, and we had some interference along the way. But 2.8 kilometers with clear with clear frequency, we use the um, the higher button here because the H P T T push to talk. So if you use the higher button and you hold it down then you speak into it and then before you finish a sentence hold it for like two seconds and let it go your message seems to get a better transmission now we'll talk about the issue of um, range wise now if we look at it for the paper 56 kilometers theoretically from here is like from this area to the next town you know like or not the next town maybe the next city and the next city is even further then so that is impossible because <coughs> They work on a different scale because um, if you look at your Motorola radios, they always have a chart behind. So we'll talk about the first issue of um, range. Okay. Issue number one is about the range. There's something called the line of sight, which I will write it down. Sorry, I'm not good with computers, so you know, so, so my video editing skills are low, so I don't really put like words and pop-ups. So the issue, the first issue is called the line of sight. Okay. So if say we have two points of, uh, between a mountain and point A, point B. Okay. Imagine that there's two people with the same radios. Okay, same frequency, and then there's a mountain. <coughs> now the range they will they will be limited because there is a blockage here. So you just this block the transmission. So the transmissions would hit here, and if they were to project their voice, they would have to press the H high powered um, PTT using more battery power, and which means they might be able to get the signal across to the guide beam. But now that the line of sight is blocked by something, then of course the signal transmission will be as clear. But similarly, two points A and another person B, there is nothing in between, the transmission is clear. And probably if you say like um, a person who is standing in a desert or in a Nevada desert, and then there's no, there's nothing in between. Yeah, the points, the transmission from point A to point B would be seemingly clear, be very clear because there's nothing in between. Now the next scenario we have is the city scenario. So let's see, point A, point. So we call this the urban. Now in the city situation, same situation as a mountain, but probably even worse because in a city situation you have many many buildings. So in in a situation whereby you have lots of buildings, shorter buildings, high buildings, and then you have also you have power stations, power stations, you have uh, radio stations. Sorry for bad handwriting. And then you have uh, electric stations. Well, I already said it, right? So, and then you have cell phone towers. All of these factors will affect your radio transmissions as well, including um, uh, airports as well. Airports. If you have airports in the area, yes, you will, you will have affected range. But to make this point clear, it's that um, it's not about the range that you read on the manual that will help you you know, understand the physics of how radios work. But line of sight, you know, anything that's in between you and your radio would affect your signal. And definitely in a place where like a forest when you have where you have lesser um, other signals to affect your your transmission, yeah, your signal will be clearer. 
The whole idea is you can also use the HPP button, the high transmission button, to improve your range, but definitely you will eat up more battery power. Then the other function you could do is to use the QT system, which you keep pressing until you get the. Uh, yeah, oops, I just missed it. Uh, get it there again. Yeah. Yeah, there's a QT system there. And if you keep pressing, I keep missing. If you get to the screen, you change the QT system to match if you have two radios, you might have better transmission because it cuts down the amount of um, interferences in between you and your other radio. So re realistically, in a range in an urban environment, I live in a suburb, so 2.8 kilometers, I had to use a, this button already, the high transmit button. It's pretty good in terms of a civilian radio. but. Of course, if you want to use a better radio, you can invest in the higher grade Motorola police radios, but in terms of getting spare parts and um, other kinds of useful materials, it won't be that convenient or cheap. So your best bet is to stick with this one, and the MR250R seems to be the most uh, logical one. And the other one they have is, I forgot the model number, but it's bright yellow. Same thing, but it's waterproof. So you can use that um, to also help you too, because it's waterproof. These babies, you cannot get too wet. A little bit of moisture is okay, but not like drenched in water or, you know, unsubmerged. Your radios will be screwed. So, most importantly, a recap of what we said today was the issue of line of sight, you know. That is very important. Uh, yeah, even in a highway, your transmission should be clear, but then, you know, you have many, many cars. So, the important thing is to you know the line of sight, you know. Your radio is one point to another point. And of course, if you live near a power station or, say, a cell phone tower, your transmission would definitely be a lot of um, static because your signal is fighting with the signal of the cell phone tower. So, yeah, it would definitely affect you as well. Or even in a place that has a lot of computers, because um, Wi-Fi use Wi-Fi signals, and you know, there is something called a band, something called a um, frequencies which I did study quite recently in my class um, about a year ago, or not so recent and the frequency issues is um, the smaller the frequency and the greater the frequency when both of them are coming together this one would definitely override this one so sometimes you really need to look for the favorable moment but range is also affected by the weather if you have heavy thunderstorms Yes, it will affect your radio frequency, but I've tested it so far in uh, uh, snowy conditions. It's quite good, actually. The MR250 r is pretty stable. There is not much um, interference. But I noticed that during a thunderstorm, when the, especially when the sky is full of like lightning and stuff, yeah, your frequency can get a little garbled sometimes. So you might have to hold on to your transmit button a little longer than normal. So we have issues of the range will affect the weather and then um, your environment. And uh, the next thing is battery power. Yeah. A lot of people forget about the issue of battery power because if your battery power is too low, your transmission, including your range and your coverage, would be very weak. So when we did our test to my university, which is at 2.8 kilometers away, the battery power is at um, mid range, like, fifth, like uh, say about 60% charge. So it's actually quite good, even for 60% charge. We use the high transmit bu button as well. But um, basically, oh right, I almost forgot. The other thing is, um, if you want to improve range, there's a, another YouTube video about some person um, talking about Motorola range. Okay. So say in a building or a mountain. So that's a building. That's a mountain. Okay. Two plain fields. If you're here and your friends over here and you both are transmitting your radios to each other Okay. so if you're transmitting your range will be a lot better and your message will go through to him clearer because he's down there but the good thing is you're at a high position so high position the transmission goes freely there's no nothing in between but he, his transmission, he might use a high powered button 
to get the message to you because his message is going to climb up and who knows what there is there's like trees and hills and anything and it's in between here anything that's in between here will block the signal to, it, to you same thing for a building people in a high position to a low position you would have issues with transmission as well because you might have tower you might have radar towers here satellite dishes you know transmitting as well so this section here will be blocked by these signals here well youtubers i hope um that was quite useful enough if i'm hearing if i'm suddenly a little hoarse it's because i just woke up about a few hours ago and my voice still hasn't um went to full strength yet but i i hope this answers your question or range if you have uh, additional supplementary um, questions you want to send to me just uh, post in the message or the comments section below and I will do a little bit of research and let you all know and um, eventually I'll come up with another one on uh, how to make sure that your your radio is not working see you again YouTubers